Hey everybody, Ben with Classic Firearms here with another great deal of the week. Now folks, when you see this video, it will be Monday, February the 18th. We're calling this our deal of the week. We actually got these in a few days prior, but we just got them and we're gonna sort them and so forth. And by Monday, we plan to release these and I'm so excited about them. These are M9130 rifles, Russian M9130s. You, you know, those have been in very short supply recently and we have tried to access them and bring them to you everywhere we could find them. And frankly, in any condition we could find them in because people were just clamoring for them and they couldn't be found. But we are told by the importers that these are some of the nice condition that have come into the country in years we want to do an unveil so I've got an unopened pallet here and we're just going to open it up and show them to you you will see them just like we're seeing them so bear with me while I cut the shrink wrap on this and we're going to look inside and see them at the same time All right, here's the big unveil. Let's take a look. Wooden crates, as you can see, people many times like to see the writing on the crate, so we're gonna unveil that as well. You can see they were for export to allow them to come over to us. Let's flip the latch and see what we've got on the inside. See if they're living up to our expectations. Okay, now I see the bayonets all on top. All of these folks are supposed to come with all of the bayonets, so each rifle will come with a bayonet. They also come with leather pouches, the small tools, and the slings. All of that normally is stored in a compartment at the bottom of the crate. But let me see if I can get these out of the way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. First thing I see is that they're covered in a heavy Cosmoline. I love that we make no extra charge for the Cosmoline folks, but that is great. Now some people say, Cosmoline, how am I going to get it off? The truth is, anything with a petroleum base will cut Cosmoline very easily. We use mineral spirits, we use WD-40, some people say hot water. Normally I use whatever's accessible like gasoline, kerosene, mineral spirits, and it just thins that and cuts it right off. But as long as it's on there, it does a wonderful job of protecting the finish. And from what I'm seeing here, let me get some of this paper out of the way. These are everything that we had hoped for. Not only that, folks, let me tell you another secret about these. These are all Tula. Everything that we have here is Tula manufacturer in Russia. Ryan, these are pretty well greased up, but can you get a shot right here? And we've got a truck coming in in the background. Just ignore that noise. We're gonna do the best we can. That's FedEx changing out trailers for us. Did you see the Tula Star there? Absolutely beautiful. Let me set a couple up so you can get a good pan shot. Take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful hex receiver. I see some early date rifles in there. Those would be the Dragoon era. Some people call them X Dragoons, folks. I've always been a little bit critical about trying to call them an X Dragoon because they no longer have any of the Dragoon characteristics on them other than the early markings. But what we will probably do is clean up a few of these and show you those early markings. All right, folks, we're back. Sometimes the best laid plans of mice and men go awry, and that's what happened with us here. We had trucks come in, it got very loud, planes were flying overhead, so much background noise that we actually had to cut, and we had to cut for a substantial time because it happened over and over and over, deliveries, swapping out trailers here on the lots, etc. So we were in the process of showing you the second crate on an unveil, but some good came out of it, and that is this. While we were doing that, we had some downtime, the guys finished up a couple of crates on the inside. They were sorting the guns out and going in the bottom and getting out the accessories so they can pack them with the guns when they're ordered. So I'm gonna be able to show you a few more than we had originally thought. So once again, to go back to the unveil, we're gonna open another crate that came to us. This one, as you saw, we just cut the shrink wrap off of. Here we go with the open. Bayonets again are a little bit cumbersome to get off the top so let me move these out of the way and let's see what's under the rust wrap 
I was so pleased with those first ones and it looks like these are going to be no exception now the light is not in a good place for us we're out here on natural light but as you can see again they're in a heavy cosmoline these are all hex receiver rifles we also have some rounds but i just happened to grab this crate we didn't know what was in the crates i know there are some rounds in this batch but how beautiful is that these are all early arsenal refinished rifles and they look fantastic ryan should we cut or can you just follow me over to this other one it's right here behind me all right let's just walk over our guys have sorted these already by sorted i mean they have taken the bayonets out they've gone under the rifles to get out the slings and so forth verify that we did have slings and so forth in them but it's a better way probably to see the rifle look at this this is a beautiful beautiful group of rifles i'm going to stand out of the way because we're casting too many shadows the way the sun is but i can pick up on a couple of things right now number one and we can show it to you here every rifle i have seen has the astutions in the stock if you don't understand the word astution it's the metal grommet that is here where the slings go through which protects the wood you will sometimes see m9130s that don't have the astutions or the grommets in them i can't promise that every rifle here has it we haven't looked at every rifle but every rifle i have seen has it that's a good sign of quality also take a look at this if you will let's focus the camera right here on the bolt faces themselves and if you can follow my finger every bolt that i see here and again i can't promise that it's every bolt look at that stuff peeling up but every bolt that i see has a heavy case letter stamped serial number on the bolt face itself that is very nice now again we can't guarantee that there won't be some in here that are electro penciled all i'm telling you is that everyone that i've seen is the original heavy case lettering and that is very nice too we will be offering hand selects on these the hand selects are going to be very subjective because all of the rifles are so nice but i will guarantee if you order a hand select we will try to get you i can't say matching number we don't know if they're going to be matching number but we will try to get you a stamped serial number in the bolt etc other than anything having an electro pencil should we run across it all right i think that's all we can do out here for now you want to get one more shot on the one on this side take a look okay why not people love to see good rifles and these appear to be good rifles walk on around we'll open this one if i can get through all right a little darker on this side the sun's in our faces here instead of to the rear but we're seeing more of the same so you can see the consistency of the rifles if it'll pick up again on the bolt faces everything i'm seeing there has a stamped letter we are all hex receiver all of the wood looks really good let me pop one up out of here at random nice astutions nice markings on this one on the stock itself hex receiver of course if i can clear this enough that we can see i've got a tula star there another tula star here oh these are beautiful i'm so excited i love great surplus and this is some great looking surplus here's what we're going to do folks these are too nasty like they are to take into the video room we are selling them in the cosmoline so i don't want to miss uh misdirect anyone or mislead anyone we are selling them in the cosmoline but we're going to clean off two or three rifles we're going to take them in the video room we're going to show them to you under really good light and show you exactly what you can expect out of this group of rifles so give us a few minutes a few minutes of our time just a moment in your time and we'll be right back all right folks we're back inside from the outside you saw the opening on these things when we had them in the crates but we wanted to clean a couple of them up get the cosmoline off of them so you could get a really good look at the type of quality that we received in this particular batch now i've been around a long long time been in the firearms industry for almost 30 years i've seen a lot of m9130 negants but these are absolutely the nicest now i'm gonna say that again because it's the truth these are absolutely the nicest 
closest I have ever seen. How the importer found this particular lot and got them in the country, I don't know, but I'm so glad they did. These are just beautiful, very high-end guns. We have a few different selections for you. What I'm holding in my hand is a hex receiver Tula. Now, all of these are Tulas. If you order out of this group off of this ad, it will say Tula. But we have a couple of different selections within the Tula because I have some early guns. The pre-1930 guns, some people call those X Dragoons. I've always shied away from that term a little bit because yes, the, the origin of this rifle was with the Dragoon when they they did a changeover, but they no longer have any of the Dragoon features on them. They've improved the sights, they've shortened the barrel, they've taken away all of the early characteristics that the Dragoon had with the exception of the Dragoon era markings. And the markings are what make this particular model so collectible. It has the small Soviet star surrounded by dots that represent the satellite countries of the Soviet Union. It also has this really cool acrylic writing on it, makes these highly collectible you folks that are collectors, you're gonna drool over this Dragoon era gun in Tula. Hex receiver, early date, very, very nice. And we have options for those for you right now. Also, we have the standard Tula hexes. They're representative of having the large Soviet star on the receiver. Again, a hex receiver. Once again, most of these have the heavy stencil type stamped serial numbers in the bolt. I would encourage you folks, if you wanna be sure that you get that, order the hand select. We will instruct our guys, all hand selects must have stamped numbers in it. I say that only because the guys have told me that they have found a few bolts that have electro pencil on them, basically a force match bolt in the gun. Guns will still be beautiful. They will still function properly, but there may be a very few of these that have a force match. If you order a hand select, you won't run any chance of getting a force match. Now, let me be very honest with you. Probably 95 out of 100 don't have a force match anyway. Vast majority of what we're seeing do have the stampings in the bolts, but if you wanna be 100% sure, go ahead and spend that hand select. 20 bucks, you won't miss it a couple of weeks from now, but you will always have that very nice rifle. Last but certainly not least, and this is our base price gun, is the Tula with the round receiver. Again, beautiful rifles. Beautiful, smooth actions. The Soviet star on top of the receiver, but it is the round receiver, and these are starting at our base price of $299.99, with the other custom options going up from there. Every rifle is guaranteed to receive a bayonet, an oil bottle of some configuration. I've seen different configurations out there, but they're all oil bottles, a canvas sling, at least one ammo pouch based on availability and based on availability, possibly some other small accessories, but we guarantee for these. If you have not signed up for our giveaway, folks, what are you waiting on? It is your last day. What a great prize. We are giving away this IWI Tavor 9mm. It's a very expensive rifle, very futuristic and high tech. It's a dream gun, folks, and one lucky customer will win it, but you can't win unless you sign up. So we encourage you, go to our homepage, sign up on all the different various ways that they offer you to do so on social media. Refer friends to get extra entries, but get signed up, and we will announce a winner on that very, very soon. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to our emails, you need to do so, and there's gonna be a button here where you can do just that. Otherwise, don't miss out on these. It's a great deal, and they're gonna go fast best quality I've ever seen. We appreciate your business and God bless.